Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County. More specifically, I'm in Verina, and we're going to take a look at a very affordable four bedroom, three full bath rancher. This home is definitely larger than it appears from the street. We've got uh, nice size lots here. This home sits on just over a quarter acre, and we've got a nice large driveway here we get plenty of vehicles here we've got a low maintenance exterior vinyl siding uh, this home does need a little bit of tlc but it's nothing major uh, we do need a power washing you can see the algae uh, that's accumulated here on the side nice power washing would take care of that and it would no longer be an issue uh, we've got a backyard here that's partially uh, uh, private from the uh, adjoining properties a nice size storage building there and we've got pretty interesting deck on the rear as well and we're gonna simply go on back to the front and go inside i like to come into these homes give you an idea of exactly what's available in the marketplace this is a great home if someone is comfortable taking on carpet and paint and just a general cleanup of a house there's no major structural issues from uh, what i can tell just a little bit of um, tlc uh, would go a long ways. We do need a little exterior paint here. You can see this railing has some peeling paint. Um, just a, a lot of little what I call nickel dime type repairs. Okay, let's see what our interior has to offer. As we come in, we have our living room, a gas log fireplace. We've got a niche there for a television. I'm going to give you a shot here from a different angle. Straight back goes to our eating kitchen and the addition. Straight ahead, this is our laundry. Our doors are missing here, uh, but good additional storage here over top and uh, washer dryer would go there. Our electric water heater is in place. Uh, this is actually irrigation. We've got an irrigation system on this house, which is unusual in this price range. Uh, our bedrooms here in this part of the house, we've got a smaller bedroom here with a ceiling fan, carpet and paint would be needed in all of these bedrooms. Our hall bath here is in pretty good shape, pretty typical uh, hall bath here. Little paint needed here throughout on the doors and the walls. Another secondary bedroom. This is fairly conservative as well. We've got a ceiling fan, good natural light comes into this room. This was originally built as the master for the home. We do have another room that's actually a little bit more suitable as the master and I'm going to take you there here momentarily. Uh, this would be one of the three bathrooms. We've already seen one full bath. Uh, this would be bathroom number two. Probably could use a new vanity there. Vanities are not real expensive. Okay, now we're going to go to the addition on this house. This was built on after this home was built. Uh, this would be a great place for a teenager or a in-law if you wanted to quarantine or isolate them, uh, would be a good place to do it. We've got a nice looking kitchen here. Uh, in this area, we've got laminate, looks like wood. It's actually laminate and a nice galley style kitchen. Uh, this is open to this back room. This back room is the addition. They put in a little bar here. We've got a door going to the back deck. I've got dual ceiling fans in this room. Another place for TV straight ahead. So we've got a real interesting floor plan. And then we go into the second master suite. We've got walk-in closet here behind this mirror. It's actually not a walk-in closet, a, um, a large closet um, behind that mirror. And then our master bath. We've got tile on the floor here. And check this out, we have got a jetted tub. Not often that you see a jetted tub uh, in this price range under 150,000, pretty unusual. Uh, so we've got a nice looking large master bath here. And then of course, this would be the master bedroom uh, that's part of the addition as well. So we've got a really interesting floor plan. Uh, not real easy to get four bedroom, three bath home uh, for the asking price. Uh, HUD will reduce their price if this home does not sell 
So depending on your price range, uh, still keep this home in mind. Uh, feel free to give me a call. I'm in these homes all the time and sometimes the good deals don't even make it to video. Uh, they just go immediately, especially if I have someone I know what they're looking for, I can immediately get them into these homes and take a look. There is grant money available. There's also down payment assistance available as well for those that qualify. Max Williams, 402-7788. Thanks so much for taking the tour. I hope you have a great day.